Hey, good morning. It's going to be a great day here in Walla Walla, and I'm looking forward to working outside on that old drill press a little bit. But uh, I'm back here in the shop right now, and uh, we were, in the last video, I was just showing some basic honing. And uh, yeah, that was kind of fun for me. I, I've loved a bunch of videos doing it, but I think I got the camera working pretty good right now. So hopefully I don't have that uh, going on. But um, I uh, uh, sometimes the oldest methods are the most accurate. And so uh, honing is extremely accurate. It... Uh, <coughs> it uh, is routinely more accurate than a lot of machinists think that you can measure. And uh, it, uh, I've heard it referred to as the black art. I think that's kind of funny. And uh, it, uh, it's kind of a hands-on kind of thing. And you kind of go by feel and this and that. But uh, it's, uh, it just takes a little bit of practice. And, uh, and not a whole lot, you know. Um, um, uh, Simon did have a, a really good video. I don't know if it's still available on getting started, but uh, you might look into that. Um, okay, now let's get over here to the, to the sun and hone. Um, first, uh, I was uh, showing lapping here over here, and I still, uh, still have the lap in that lake. Now, that's the traditional way to do it uh, <clears throat> with a Harley-Davidson connecting rod, um, is in a, in a lathe. Um, most Harley shops had a small lathe, and uh, it, it's pretty much needed on the, those old, old motors. So, um, but this over here, let's get over here. I think I have to get in there first before you do. So I'll get in there. <laughs> it is so tight in here. Here we go. Okay, let's get over here and have a close look. And um, oh, let's get that up here. Oh, bear with me. Okay, you know, um, the Sun and Home machine is, is really kind of hard to demonstrate. Now, what I've got going in here is I've got that, uh, a similar uh, rod lapping tool with an adapter in the Sun and Hone machine. Now, I, I was doing um, Harley-Davidson lower ends, uh, pretty much specializing on that, and doing it for Harley-Davidson dealers. We had one local dealer here that, oh, I think he, at one time he owned seven dealerships, and I did stuff for him and other dealers. And uh, things change in industry. And there came a time uh, when Harley-Davidson uh, started rebuilding engines and, uh, uh, and then uh, started having uh, motors made in Brazil uh, really cheap. So that work dried up um, after some time. And um, then you just kind of adapt to other things. And then also while I was doing Harley Davidson, I was also doing industrial hydraulics and uh, other motorcycle brands and uh, just all kinds of stuff that you can do in a machine shop. Okay, now I got, it's really nice to keep the lap over here with the uh, sun and hone because all the abrasives are, are, are contained right here. Now I've got this uh, rod in there and uh, I'm going to show you, see I kind of, I got it so I can move it, right? Okay, we're going to start there. And uh, this is what the... Uh, Sun and Hone. I'm going to look through the camera here and hopefully you can see that finish. Okay. You see that bright finish. Okay. Now, when I adjusted this rod on here, it started to dull that down. 
And I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start this up. We'll start honing it. That's the most fun. Okay, here we go. Looking good. I don't need the oil, so I got it over here just running. And I'm going to hit the paddle, and none of this will work. You know, all the adjustment is uh, uh, within the uh, lap itself. So here we go. Okay. Okay, right off. I need to adjust it. So I'm going to start pushing that uh, lap up that taper. So I back this one back just a bit and grab this. <laughs> this tool is a bicycle tool. <laughs> it works. Okay, that's quite a bit tighter. Here we go. Now, you have to keep moving across the lap, and it self-trues if you do that. Okay, I'm going to pull it off. You don't want to try to remove the rod with this thing uh, spinning. It'll catch on the end and uh, be a disaster. So you want to get the rod back on that lapping tool. Okay, here we go. Okay, I gotta adjust it again. Back this nut off a little bit. Move this back. I don't know, I guess that's about a sixteenth of a turn, huh? Tighten this one. And see that expands it. Okay, I'm going to take my finger and lift some of that compound out of, uh, I got clover compound on here, put a little bit of oil. We're going to get this fast cutting, a little bit of that compound on there. Okay, let's start working it. This is going to take some time, might have to do a couple videos. Okay, here we go. Moving it back and forth, just like you're honing. You can fill tight spots on the lap, and then you uh, work those tight spots. Oh yeah, starting to feel real good. I'm gonna reverse it. go okay trying to adjust kind of adjusted itself loose that time Just gotta fiddle with it. Okay, here we go. Got a little bit of drag. See, I'm lifting it up off that torque bar. And see where it's tight, it'll bang down. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up, stop. Back on there. Here we go. I'm going to run my finger on there and lift some of that compound. Oh, yeah, see that? Now that lap, see? I'm lifting it up. A little bit of grab right in there. But it's starting to really uh, conform. 
Okay. Time to tighten it. Oh, it's kind of awkward here. Come on, get in there. There we go. Looking good. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop this and make another video. Okay. See what we got here. Let's have a quick look at this finish. Okay. It's quite a bit duller. Then this one, see, this is so bright, that's home. It's starting to be lapped. Okay, and I'm going to continue lapping this. There's some uh, things to talk about here. Okay, now I'll be back.